anime you should watch. Fooly Cooly. Fooly Cooly or FLCL is an action comedy anime with a style and personality that has influenced and shaped countless shows, both in anime and in western cartoons. It's chaotic, energetic, and pushes the boundaries of what people would traditionally think of as an anime. It revolves around Naota, who is just a typical 13-year-old Japanese boy living in a town where nothing interesting ever happens. Oh, and then he's run over by a pink-haired woman on a yellow Vespa. <laughs> Yeah, that, um, that doesn't seem like a good time there. So the strange woman gives him CPR and then bashes him in the head with her base before piecing out of there never to be seen again. Until he sees her again, all over town, following after him. She even turns up in his house at night, revealing to the family that she is their new live-in maid. See, she's Haruko Harahara, and she's, um... Well, she's Haruko. She turns Nyota's life upside down, with the hit causing a weird bump that eventually turns into a couple robots popping out of his head and duking it out. It only gets weirder from here as Haruko drags Nyota through exciting adventures while putting him in situations where he has to grow and mature. It's his coming of age story. Honestly, explaining the plot of Fooly Cooly seems like the least interesting thing to do in this video. Not that it's an uninteresting plot, it is. Far from that, it is very interesting. There's a lot you can discuss and interpret about this plot, but that is far better as the discussion, sorting through your experience with others, knowing exactly what happened. Now, as this is a pre-recorded and edited video, that ain't happening here, so I want you to turn your attention to the many other things that have made this show stick out. Like Fooly Cooly's animation, which is unique and experimental, using various styles of animation and packing every episode with moments that make you go, wow. Now the reason that they're able to pack in so much stellar animation is that Fooly Cooly is a quick six episodes. All the episodes together total an easy two and a half hours, a tad longer than most feature films. So really, if you're worried about length, you can knock this out easily in a night. Now, by limiting themselves, the production studio is Gainax, who's created the legendary Evangelion, and Production IG, who you may be familiar with with their work on Psychopaths, were able to go all out every chance they got with this series. For example, in episode one, where some characters start having an argument, instead of having the standard wide shot with silly expressions, like many animes tend to do, they go all out in experimenting with a new style, where they make the scene look and feel like reading a manga. If you're thinking this is simple, you gotta readjust your eyes, because to do this, the team had to come up with techniques they had never used before, and it turned a standard scene of some characters going back and forth into a highlight of the show, exemplifying the care that went into each frame and the willingness to push themselves as animators. Movement in Fooly Cooly is something I want to give some attention to, because the speed and punch of the movement in Fooly Cooly is mesmerizing. It actually reminds me of Chuck Jones' Looney Tunes in a lot of ways. Movement is incredibly exaggerated, body parts move in ridiculous ways that aren't really meant to show the movement as it would actually look but how it feels in your head, invoking the feeling and the idea of movement over the reality of it. Exaggerated movement is not new in anime, this is very common in animation, but the level and scope of their movement is far beyond what other shows try to do and ever really attempt to do. Their use of slow motion and speeding up motion gives it a certain punch that makes the action exciting and beautiful. You can actually see the influence in this in shows like Avatar The Last Airbender, whose staff was required to buy and watch Fooly Cooly to study and learn from it. Which shows is one of the best parts about Avatar The Last Airbender, where you can see the brilliance of where it comes to their movement and combat. You can see how a lot of it was influenced and built up from what they saw in Fooly Cooly. Also, Avatar The Last Airbender, that's a goddamn TV show you should watch, without a doubt. I'm not even gonna do a video on that, you're just gonna learn it here. Watch Avatar Last Airbender if you haven't, like, come on guys, that's an obvious one. Character design and colors are also unique, avoiding a lot of shading and trying to go for a realistic look. And with a more stylistic approach that combine a bright, well-contrasting colors that add to the fun, bright style and feel of the show. Now, I could gush about character design, animation, and backgrounds for hours, but on top of all that, what ties this show together is the score. Fooly Cooly is an unconventional anime, so for music, they decide to go far outside the norm and make an agreement with an alt-rock, punk, Japanese band called The Pillows. Their music has a raw kind of rock feel that I was all about as a teenager, and I'm still about right now. Their songs mix in perfectly with this show, enhancing the melancholy and slow moments and excitement into already beautiful action. These songs will get stuck in your head, and they just mix together with Fooly Cooly perfectly. Fooly Cooly is a show that went out to break the rules of anime, to show the establishment what could be achieved 
with something less conventional, and an alt-rock punk score is a match made in heaven. The Pillows also wrote the ending theme right on Shooting Star for the show, and this is easily one of my favorite ending themes of all time. I did not skip it a single time in my rewatch, because it is the perfect cap on any episode. Getting back to the plot for a moment, it can be a bit hard to follow at times, but as the director Kazuya Suramaki has said about the show, comprehension shouldn't be an important factor in FLCL. Kazuya himself cites the guitar and rock feel as a shortcut for this. Just let go of moments that don't quite make sense and enjoy the vibe it's putting out. I would compare it all to a song you really love but don't know the lyrics to. Sure, you'll get what's going on here, but you might just not get it on the first time. Getting on to comparable shows, I would say you can compare Fooly Cooly with Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt fairly easily. As both are dense, fast-paced, ridiculous comedies and both also aren't afraid to mix it up with animation styles every now and again just to keep the uh, viewer on their toes. In terms of animation, you can pull a lot of parallels with Gurren Lagann as well, which was directed by Hiroki Iramashi, who worked on Fooly Cooly, so that comes full circle there. They have a similar feel to their animation, being a lot more fluid with their movement, focusing less on realistic movements and more on exaggerated but exciting movement. The Netflix series Devil Man Crybaby also thinks uses aspects of what they do in Fooly Cooly. They all feel very different from a more standard looking anime series like say a Sword Art Online. It has a uniqueness and a feel that brings out more life and shows you what anime can really be. If you don't put the animation styles and art styles of anime in a box like some people do. Anime can be a lot of things, and Fooly Cooly does a really good job of showing and expressing what can be done with anime. Now to put a bow on this, Fooly Cooly is a fast-paced, densely packed, sometimes hard to follow show that exemplifies creativity, passion, and an attitude to break the rules of anime to do something truly original. It is an anime I have loved and remembered ever since I snuck into my living room at night, turned down the TV as low as I could, and watched it behind my parents back in the old Toonami block. With its long-awaited second and third seasons coming out in June and September of 2018 respectively, now is the perfect time to watch, or hell, even re-watch Fooly Cooly, which is without a doubt an anime you should watch.